Thanks very much, and thanks very much for your support in the past. Um, as everyone knows, we uh, were the successful bidder for the printing plant and the police station on North Street. Uh, we still haven't uh, completed the transaction, but we expect to do that uh, in the next two weeks, or at any rate before September 1st. Uh, but even though we haven't completed the uh, passing papers, we both the city and North Bennett Street School are cooperating. We are in the process of moving two of our departments into the police station on a temporary basis, and the Elliott School is in the process of creating five new classrooms in our building, all of which will be have to be ready by September. So we will both be functioning in each other's buildings in September 1, uh, even though we haven't completed the uh, final financial transactions, but uh, the law department is involved in that and, and it's ongoing, mm -hmm. so uh, there doesn't seem to be any issue about uh, the ultimate resolution of it. That puts us, as of September 1, uh, with only three of our eight programs remaining in our original building. Two programs are in Arlington, one program is in South Boston, and two programs will then be on North Street in the police station. So five programs of the eight will be out of our building and three will remain in the building. So it's not, a, it's not gonna be actually a great year for the school. Uh, it, it's very disjointed to operate that way and we'll be in temporary quarters in the police station. During the school year, we will be renovating the printing plant. And that should start with uh, hazardous materials abatement just as soon as uh, we own the building. And I expect it to start about September 1st or mid-September. And that will be followed by a small demolition uh, uh, contract just to remove a couple of the interior partitions that uh, are no longer functioning, the, uh, whatever was set up for the various printing plant offices and, and things like that. Uh, and construction will uh, begin in earnest probably December or January. Actually, new construction. You won't really notice anything because the new construction will really be only on the inside, with the exception of the two bay garage between the two buildings. The two buildings are currently uh, built at different levels. They were built not at the same time, but uh, with identical construction and materials, but the floors don't line up. So there will be a stairwell and an elevator uh, put in this middle link between the two buildings that will allow uh, wheelchair access to all levels for everybody. So the new front door for the complex will be those two large garage doors that currently function for the, for the two-bay garage attached to the police station. And above that will be a kind of a glass enclosed atrium, which will be the gathering space for the school. All of this will be subject to design review by the DRA, by Mass Historical Commission, and uh, by uh, whatever city agencies that we need to, to, to present to. So there'll be a, a lengthy review process, and, and I don't uh, pretend to be able to show anybody drawings yet. But the idea is that there will be a, a two-story volume in that gap, which will be just a, a pretty much an empty circulation space, an atrium, a gathering space. We're hoping it might even be a, a space that would be useful to the community or to other groups for meetings or events, that it might be a kind of a nice gathering space for others as well as us. The majority of the heavy duty programs, carpentry, uh, cabinet furniture making, preservation carpentry, the ones with the big machines will all be in the printing plant, which is terrific industrial space, perfect for us. Some of the other trades that we do, book binding uh, and uh, uh, piano technology, where piano tuning and piano regulation will be in the uh, police station, which is a smaller scale structure with smaller rooms and, and more appropriate for those activities. But we will pretty much occupy the whole place. There'll be some basement space here and there, and you know, there's not a lot of uh, expansion room for us once we bring all of our uh, programs that are not in, no longer in the north end back. I guess that's all I can really say except that we are hope 
we're not hoping, we have to be fully operational in the new building by September of 2013, which is uh, a year and two weeks from today. <laughs> I'm going to start counting days. Um, and we're at the schematic design stage, which is to say we're still pushing pieces of the puzzle around on paper and saying this doesn't work here, let's try moving it over there. So we've got a long way to go uh, before we uh, really uh, are ready to commit to, to construction. And we've got a long way to go, but we don't have a lot of time to do it. Because uh, we cannot fail to start this construction process by uh, December or January if we're going to expect it. Uh, the current budget we have is $10 million for the renovation. The current cost estimate we have is considerably higher than that. So uh, that's, there's nothing new. But we're, so we're in the process now of, uh, well, the approach we took was to design the perfect school that would be perfect in that building. And that didn't take into account the money that we actually have available. But we didn't want to build something that we then later uh, would want to have there or would second guess our decision making. So we're thinking about the ultimate perfect school and we will be able to build as much as we can afford that. Uh, but one way or another we'll be moving in there because the city wants our building, our current building, uh, available for their reuse as of September 2013. I'd be happy to come back as soon as we have drawings and models or whatever you want, but uh, we have applied formally to the PRA for our permits to do this. Uh, and so I really want to make sure that all of the community groups, anybody who wants to know what we're doing is, uh, is aware of what we're doing and also aware that uh, my window is on Pileston Street about two blocks away and you can knock on the glass and get my attention and come on in anytime you want. And my leash is very, very short. Uh, any, any questions? Is that the end of your presentation? Yeah. <laughs>